Okay, so today we're gonna go over power. So for powered, I have the tablet, I have my phone that I'm recording on, I have this fan here, and I plug in this uh, USB dongle as well. To take care of all this power, I have the battery here. This battery has two DC outs, a cigarette lighter, and then I have this adapter in here that has some USBs and a USB-C. I have three USBs here and a USB-C down below, an AC adapter, and then it has a wireless charger on it, which is what my friend's phone is charging on. In addition to that, it also has a light. To charge the battery, you have a few options. I chose to do solar, which runs along the back of the van here and goes into this window down there. The solar panel itself is 100 watts. So after it gets done uh, going through the window, you can see there's a wire that comes along here and runs through the back of this and plugs into the battery. The battery itself has a solar charge controller and the solar charge controller allows for a 52 watt input and uh, that allows the battery to charge. The battery's max is 330 watts, however it does have a peak wattage of 600. The AC inverter itself is a uh, AC pure sine wave and the charge controller is built into this unit. This unit's called an EBL 330 watt multi-purpose power station. And you can find it on Amazon for about 130. You can find the solar panel on the roof for about 80 to 100 depending on the day. Okay, now that I've explained how my power system works, I hope that gave you guys some insight on to how to do some sort of basic power system in your SUV minivan, RV, etc. for a reasonable cost and a not too complicated setup. Uh, the setup is one that you do not have to be an electrician to understand, you just have to understand how to plug stuff into each other, basically. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a good day.